Breaking news coming in. The former WFI chief Bridgebushan Sharan Singh's aide Sanjay Singh has been elected as the new president of the Wrestling Federation of India. That's the breaking news coming in. The election for the top post in the Wrestling Federation of India now also paves the way for the global wrestling body, the United World Wrestling, to lift the suspension it had placed on the WFI. My colleague Alok Pandey joins us with a quick update on the developing story that's coming in. Alok, Bridge Bhushan's proxy has won the wrestling body poll. Is this really a new era though? I mean, new era for sure, not uh, Parmeshwar, but I think the one thing that you need to look at is that uh, after months and months of protest, you are back to square one essentially with, uh, if it's not Bridge Bhushan, Charan Singh, it's somebody who's a loyalist of his, a close aide of his who's won the wrestling federation election. So, all of those protests by the wrestlers in that sense, in terms of an electoral victory, it seems, uh, it seems, uh, it seems to have uh, not made too much of an effect when it comes to actual elections. Sanjay Singh uh, is the vice president of the Uttar Pradesh Wrestling Association, and uh, he is somebody who is campaigned saying that look, I want to ensure that the glory days of wrestling return. But I think that is not the genesis of why we are playing this news and why we are actually, you know, talking about this election right now. Uh, this is an election that was very contentious. Uh, Bridge Bhushan Sharan Singh was accused of sexual harassment. He was the outgoing president of the Wrestling Federation of India. Uh, he said that he would not contest again. There was a committee that the government formed, if I remember correctly, and you know they came out with a certain set of recommendations. This poll itself was long delayed. And now that it has finally happened, you've had a situation where a loyalist, a very close aide of... Uh, of uh, Bridge Bhushan Sharan Singh, the uh, MP from Uttar Pradesh, has now become the Wrestling Federation of India chief. So, I mean, one wonders uh, where this leaves the entire wrestling infrastructure and apparatus because the wrestlers have been protesting, saying that we don't want Bridge Bhushan, we want his arrest, we want the wrestling body to be clean of people like this, but that has not happened. Uh, Bridge Bhushan, of course, has protested, uh, has said, always said that he's innocent and that, you know, anything that happens that he can prove in the court of law, or it's up to the police to prove in the court of law that he's done something he maintains his innocence. We also do know that, uh, you know, uh, Bridge Bhushan has been found liable for prosecution, which is that he has been prosecuted in the harassment molestation case that the wrestlers have uh, foisted against him. So, all in all, it's essentially back to square one, and wrestling will continue to be governed, if not by Bridge Bhushan, then by his proxy. As always, Alok, thank you so much for joining us with the details, contextualizing the case for us. A close aide of Bridge Bhushan Sharan Singh, BJP MP and former Wrestling Federation of India, who actually came under fire for sexual harassment allegations, was today elected the new chief of the national wrestling body. Sanjay Singh won 40 out of 47 votes in a sweeping victory over Anita Sheron, a Commonwealth Games gold medalist who was backed by top wrestlers protesting against Mr. Singh.